Have you ever felt like the ads that you see on your social media feed are specifically targeted to you? It's almost like the app is listening to your conversation. I know it's happened to Katie on Instagram. Yeah, Sharice, you know, my friend and I were talking about a specific cruise that she went on and just a few minutes later, an ad for that specific cruise popped up into my Instagram feed. So it made me wonder if they're not listening, how could that happen? Parton is my wife's grandmother's maiden name. WWL TV photojournalist Adam Kopis and his wife named their new baby Harton. Like most new parents, they post pictures of her precious little face on social media. But Adam saw something strange online. Well, my wife just showed me the phone, uh, which was her Facebook feed, and she told me the story of how she calls Harton Heart. And so she's always Hey, Hart, how are you? We love you, Hart. And then she started getting some ads on Facebook for the band Hart. You're not a Hart fan? I honestly couldn't even tell you what they sang. It seems like everyone has a similar anecdote that leads many to believe the apps are listening in on their conversations. Even members of Congress question Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg about it. You're talking about this um, conspiracy theory that gets passed around that we listen to what's going on on your microphone and use that for ads. Right. We don't do that. I wanted to test it out, so we started with Instagram. With my Instagram app open on my phone, Sharice and I started talking about all kinds of stuff. Tell me about your trip. Where'd you go? I think we did brunch um, at my Airbnb that I rented and it was actually a gorgeous Airbnb. I have not searched Airbnb on my phone. I don't have the app and it only took 20 minutes into our conversation for this to happen. There's an ad for Airbnb. Coincidence? British security company Wandera recently did a similar experiment using two smartphones. One was in a quiet room and the company played pet food commercials over and over to the second phone to see what would happen. We weren't able to, to discern any kind of noticeable difference. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. It made me wonder hey, if maybe the apps Route work the like airport. Siri. Getting directions to Louis Armstrong, New Orleans International Airport. Listening in when they hear trigger words. I need a recipe for potatoes. Facebook and Instagram's founders both say they are not listening, period. So, but again, Disney, when Sharice like, and I tried it, not only did Airbnb <laughs> pop up. So I'm going to Disney soon. Oh. And I wonder if I should Airbnb there for an extra night or two. Oh, Disney. The next day, this ad for Walt Disney World popped up in my Insta feed could be a coincidence. I have been looking at Disney World rides on my home computer. Instagram's founder denied the app accesses the microphone to listen in during an interview with CBS This Morning anchor Gail King in June. But this is key. Did you maybe do something uh, with that restaurant in this example online off of Facebook? Boom. What you search and interact with in apps and on the web outside of Instagram and Facebook are part of your online data profile. We can't say definitively whether or not they are. We haven't found evidence to listen to the conversations. But what we have seen is by using bits of information like, again, where you live, where you work, where you shop, tracking the locations of those things, and then just what you browse in different apps, what you search in different apps, they'll take that information, put it together into a sort of profile on you, and then that's how they can target you. That's how Will Stravak is the CEO of an app called Guardian Firewall. It lets you know what apps on your phone are tracking you, your web use, your interactions with content inside apps. Did you like that photo of the cute little Hocus Pocus girls last week on Facebook? Apps can track all of that. Maybe your credit card information, your social security number, where you took all those pictures you post on Facebook, where your friends took all those pictures they post on Facebook. Sometimes where you are down to specific latitude, longitude, even altitude coordinates. Data collection companies create data profiles on us based on all of those things and many more. They sell them to other companies where we don't really know where that goes. It's some sort of database, sometimes used for ad targeting other times for some sort of uh, political micro-targeting, but we don't exactly know for sure um, the, the extent of where it's going just because of how like secretive these companies are. Stravox says hundreds of apps don't just allow you to do cool things. 
Okay, this is no makeup. Whoa. Once you give them access, they can essentially collect your data and sell it. Perfect 365 is a makeup app used by millions of people around the world. An Us Weekly report from an unnamed source in 2015 said Kim Kardashian used it to take her selfies and the app's use exploded. I've seen, I believe, at most eight location trackers from completely different companies uh, where it's sending your longitude, latitude, speed, and altitude uh, periodically while the app's running in the background. So while I'm doing this, playing with my hair like everyone seems to do when they're on these things, or even while I leave the app open to move on to something else, eight companies could be tracking my movements. Facebook's data policy says the company will never sell your data, but it does use data from third-party partners to target you for ads. It's like a big circle of information about you, allowing ads to target you so well, it can feel like they're reading your mind. I have heard that it's simply uh, an algorithm and that the algorithm just works and it hits. And I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I simply just don't believe that that would happen. Neither did Gail King. I don't believe you. I don't know how this happens. Because when you hear stories like the one about heart, those doubts 